flashing it on my snapchat so if you don't have me on snapchat go at my snapchat monia k and i can't stop flashing it music down for copyright reasons but seriously y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel i am starting to get on point with these videos y'all because i'm just feeling like really inspired and stuff so i'm coming to y'all with the videos you dig me and since malia is whining let's just get on with this video first i'm gonna take my la girl pro conceal this isn't fun and i'm gonna use this to be my base for my eyeshadows like eyeshadow primer and I'm going to blend it in with my fingers. Then I'm going to go in with some baby powder and set that concealer. Baby powder works just like translucent powder to me, etc, etc. I've said this a million times. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to set the concealer. Then I am going to go into my colorful palette. And I'm going to take these two red colors. One is a little more redder than the other one. One is mm, a little darker. And I'm just going to take this on a blending brush and blend this above my crease. Mix in both of these two colors together. I'm building up the red color that I want. I'm starting at the end or the outer side of my eye, building it up and dragging it inside. Just like the same thing I do for every video. You build it up on the outside. Then I'm going to take that red color and continue to build the red up. Then I'm going to go to my Makeover Essentials palette and I'm just going to take this shimmery shade to put it under my brow bone to kind of lift it and give my brow bone a highlight.
Then I'm going to take my Allegra Pro Conceal again. This is still fine. And I'm just going to clean up this area. I'm going above the crease of my eye to clean up. So you guys have to figure out where the crease of your eye is and go above that so basically just open your eyes and that crease in your eye you would clean up above that a lot of girls struggle with not knowing where the crease of their eye is and that's a good way to find out just have your eye open and whatever the wherever the crease is that's the crease of your eye but anyway i'm gonna go in with this red color by yourself on a flat brush and start to pack that on the end of my eye or the outer corner of my eye and I'm just gonna build that red up to my liking Like I said, I'm really building this red up. Then I'm going to go in with this orange color here. And I'm going to put this in the middle of my eye with another flat brush. And I'm just going to try to blend both the red and the orange together. So again, it don't look like blotchy color and blotchy color. I want them to look very well blended in together. It don't look like just one color, one color. Then I'm going to go in with this yellow and put this in the inner corner of my eye, of course. That's the last space to put a color. And, I mean, like I said for the other colors, just put it in and blend that in also. And pack on the yellow so the yellow can be seen just so pretty and so bright and so yellow. I am also going at the top of my eye and the top of the other colors and as you can tell I am blending the yellow at the top then I'm gonna go in my NYC look at eyeliner and of course give myself a wing I will not be Monia without giving myself a wing I feel weird without wings I don't know I just have an attachment to them but like I said, I'm just giving myself a wing. NYC Liquid Eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner. Not only is it just a beautiful dark black, but it is a matte black. It dries so matte and so perfect. Then, I have powder on my face for all the fallout. I'm going to dust all the powder off, obviously. And since my foundation, highlight, and contouring was already done, I'm just going to take this Ramel London. This is the Ramel London palette. I'm just going to take this highlighting color from this palette and highlight my face or the places that I normally highlight. My cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go in also with Milani highlight and highlight on top of the Ramel London highlight. That glow so positive. Then I'm going to go in with Nika K True Matte. This is in Santa Fe. And I'm not going to use a limp pencil for today because I just want a peachy kind of pinky 
pinkish <laughs> type of lip and I just want it just to be that I don't want it to be like a nudie kind of lip because I want more pink to be shown in it then I'm just going to use my NYC nude gloss on top of it because if y'all been watching my videos y'all know I'm kind of being a little obsessious That's not a brand, really. but anyway for a gloss so I'm going to throw the gloss on it on it Then, you know, give myself a final look before y'all see me look all tragic. But then I almost forgot. Let's go in with Color Maze Blush and kind of bring some color and life to my cheeks. So that's all for my video. I hope you guys liked it literally and i hope you guys love this video and like i said at the beginning of the video of course i will be coming to y'all with more videos i'm trying to stay on top of this but i love y'all and i will see y'all in my next video thank y'all for all y'all support thank you for watching thank you for liking and commenting and leaving wonderful beautiful comments on my um videos i was going to say on my pictures <laughs> but anyway y'all see y'all in my next video